yeah hi everyone guys i'm so sorry for the last uh, session i think there was some network issue somehow due to which uh, i have been writing here but then i didn't really realize that the session has ended until i see a lot of comments from students right so yeah these things does happen when we are taking sessions offline but yeah part of it okay so yeah i think uh, <laughs> I think I'll start in next two three minutes because there will be students who are who will be joining. So let everyone join and then I'll start. Okay. Great. By the way, guys, I hope uh, you were able to solve this question. If not, please ask me. This is the solution because I have been typing it here. So uh, it's like this. The same trick is applicable, which I just. Talked about that you just just keep on solving individual variables and you'll be able to find the values. The final answer will be twenty five. So any questions in this particular question, or maybe any doubts, then only I'll move forward. Right. Uh, am I audible, guys? By the way. Great, uh, great yard. So, is this clear, guys? Yes or no? And uh, may I request you guys to please share the link of the session with your friends. I am still getting some messages. People are asking for the link. If you guys can please share the link with your friends and in your groups, I think then we can move on to the best question, which is the the cat question of crypto arithmetic. Great. Thank you. So yeah, this was the last question. I am I'm assuming everyone is clear because there were no doubts. So with this, I'll move on to the new question, which is the most important session for which is the most important question for today. And if you guys were able to understand what is given here, you should be able to solve this particular question. This is a question directly from CAT twenty nineteen. I didn't really make this question. So credits goes to the I am authority altogether, and uh, let's see who is able to crack it. Remember, there are four questions, so twelve marks. All of the questions were theta mark questions. So, but I think this is a set that must be solved in the first place if it comes in cat again. Okay, and then I'm and then I wanted to pick this concept as a live session open to everyone because it's a very subtle concept. If you get it, you'll be able to get all the plus threes. Okay, so time starts now. Let's see how many of you are able to solve it. So, uh, question says same thing. We have uh, ten variables, right? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. Okay, I is not present, so do remember I is not there. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, J, N, K. We have ten variables and ten integers. We have to map them. Simple question, and this information is given to us. Okay. maybe i'll give you 2 3 minutes so that you can scratch your head and then we'll try to solve it together by the way i have also covered some good and advanced level of crypto arithmetic concepts in the free lrds set series we will also be covering it as a part of the booster and the marathon event that is starting from tomorrow okay so don't worry about all of it this is just a practice and we'll be applying it Great. So what is given here is 
सिक्स डिजिट नंबर टू सिक्स डिजिट नंबर विच आर एडिंग अप टू अ सेवन डिजिट नंबर सो कैन एनी वन टेल मी वॉट शुड बी द स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट बिकॉज वॉट इज रियली इंपॉर्टेंट इन दिस क्वेश्चन इज द स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट वॉट इज द फर्स्ट हिंट दैट यू गेट जस्ट आफ्टर लुकिंग एट दिस क्वेश्चन एंड फ्रॉम वेयर शुड यू स्टार्ट एनी वन कैन आंसर दिस एफ इज इक्वल टू जीरो रवि ओके एफ इज जीरो ओके दैट्स गुड दैट्स आई थिंक अ वेरी गुड ऑब्जर्वेशन एवरी वन बिकॉज वॉट यूर सींग इज एफ प्लस एफ हैज टू बी इक्वल्स टू एफ सो द ओनली पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ दिस हैपनिंग इज वेन एफ इज जीरो आई थिंक गुड सो वॉट वी गेट इज एफ इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो वॉट नेक्स्ट so i'm i'll just put all the values of fs0 right this is 0 0 0 0 and this is also 0 right what next just think can we solve this we can't solve this because g plus k is equals to a we can't really solve it a plus 0 is c we can't really solve it e j h h f can't really solve any of it how are you saying that h is 5 Someone said that h is five. How is h five? How can you you possibly solve it? Just keep on looking at this. Sum of two six-digit numbers is becoming a seven-digit number. When is this possible? Just think. Assume that this is nine. Assume that this is nine. Assume you have some sort of a carryover. Even then, nine plus nine is eighteen. So, the only possible value of a is. Just think. the only possible value of a is a has to be equals to 1 because only then sum of two six digit number will become a seven digit number right because a can only be 0 or 1 0 ho nahi sakta and then a has to be equals to 1 so we have gotten one more value which is a is equals to 1 right so i'll put all of these values as 1 this is 1 let me remove it this is 1 this is 1 This is one, this is one, and this is one. What next, guys? What more can I get? Of course, we can't solve g and k because there are two variables here. Let's move from here. B plus one is giving me eleven, right? B plus one is giving me eleven. How is this possible? Of course, there has to be b plus one is actually giving me eleven, which means b is equals to ten. But of course, b can't be ten because b is a single digit number. So there has to be a carry forward of one somewhere on the top, so that b plus one plus one, which is b plus two, should be equals to eleven, and hence the only possible value of b is equals to nine. That's the only possible value. Very good, Shashank. Very good, Kirti, and amazing. Ask me. I think a very good observation. this precisely was needed here that the value of b is nothing but 9 i hope this is clear that the maximum carry forward here will be 1 because this is just single digits getting added you can't have a carry over of 2 so this is it let's move forward so 9 we we have already gotten this value let's move forward h plus h is equals to 0 with a carry of 1 right which essentially means h plus h is 10 so the only possible value of h is H has to be equals to five. Is this clear? H has to be equals to five, which means we have even gotten this value that this value must be five. Five. Five plus five is fifteen hundred and ten. Great. Let's move forward. A plus J. Sorry, this is one. One plus J is equals to G. Okay, might be something we can't really say anything about G because we don't know the value of J. Let's look at this column. Similarly, g plus k is one or maybe eleven, but we can't. We, but because we don't know the value of g and k, we can't really solve this. But here, see what is happening. One plus zero is equals to c, right? One plus zero is equals to c, which essentially means that c has to be equals to one. But can c be one? No, c can't be one because one is already taken by a, which means there has to be a carryover of one somewhere here. so that 1 plus 1 plus 0 is equals to 2 and hence the value of c will actually turn out to be 2 is this clear 
that how did I get the value of c is equals to two? Guys, is this clear? Make sense or it's not clear? So we have already solved five variables. Five is still left. Right? Let's see. So now, if you just look at this, we have already solved this part. Right? Zero plus zero is already solved. This part is already solved. 95 plus 15 is 110. The only part that is left is this part. I'll just rewrite this freshly. 1, 1, G. This is J. Right? This is 0. This is K. And this sum must be equals to G, 2 and 1. And there is no carryover whatsoever. Right? There is no carryover. Of course, there is a carryover of 1 here that's it right now let's see which means from here i need to find the values of g j and k and because i've already found the values of five variables the leftover will be a b c is done so d and e is left over and they must have the values out of i have already gotten five values right so the only leftover values is three four six seven and eight so now let's start doing the PNC. People who are saying C is equals to 2, let's see whether C is real. Let's consider another value of G. Let's assume that G is equals to 7. When G is 7, 7 plus K is equals to 11, which means K has to be equals to 4. If G is 7, J must be 1 less than 7, which is 6. So 7, 6 and 4. We have 7, 6 and 4 uh, values left. So yeah, this is also possible. 8, 7, 3, 8, 7, 3. This is also possible. Right? Which clearly gives me an indication that G ki ek value nahi hogi. There will be multiple values of G here. Let's take G as 6, for example. If G is 6, K has to be 5. But K 5 ho nahi sakta because 5 is already taken by H. Which means G kabhi 6 nahi ho sakta. Right? Let's take G as 4. Let's take G as 4. 4 plus something is equals to 11 so k must be 7 if k is 7 j must be 3 right only then 1 plus 3 will be 4 4 3 and 7 is left over so yes this is also possible let's take g as 3 now if this is 3 k must be 8 k. so i will write 8 here let's look at j if g is 3 j must be equals to 2 but 2 is not possible because 2 is already taken by c so this case is not possible so i have a total of three cases here if 8, 7 and 3 is taken by these, the only values that are left is 4 and 6. So 4 and 6 will be the values of D or E. D ki value 4 ho jayegi or D ki value 6 ho jayegi. We don't know but I'll just write all the possibilities here. If this is 7, 6 and 4, the values that are left over is 3 and 8. If this is 4, 3 and 7, the values that are left over is 6 and 8. Guys, is this clear to everyone or not? This was very important. Let me know if this makes sense to you guys. I uh, okay, I'm I see there is some streaming issue again. Okay, great. I think that this is resolved. Guys, do let me know if you're able to hear me right now. So these are the different possibilities of all the five variables. Is it clear? Great guys. So with this, I think the, do let me know. I'll wait for one minute before jumping onto the questions and then we'll solve all the four questions of this particular set. Okay. Great. Thanks Amok for, for that confirmation. Let's look at the first question. Which digit does the letter A represent? A ki value to one hai. So this answer is clearly one. Then B, B ka value is also nine. So this is nine. See, you feel so happy when you directly get the answers, right? Which among the digits? 3, 4, 6 and 7 cannot be represented by the letter D. 
सो डी की वैल्यूज क्या हो सकती है डी कैन बी फोर सिक्स थ्री एट फोर थ्री सिक्स एट हो सकता है वो राइट सो फोर थ्री सिक्स एंड एट इज पॉसिबल विच मीन्स सेवन इज नॉट पॉसिबल सो द आंसर ऑफ दिस इज सेवन सिमिलरली ऑफ जी जी का देख लेते हैं जी कैन बी एट सेवन एंड फोर दीज आर द थ्री वैल्यूज ऑफ जी एट सेवन एंड फोर एट सेवन एंड फोर विच मीन्स जी कैंट बी इक्वल्स टू सिक्स सो द आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन विल बी सिक्स इज दिस क्लियर गाइज आई थिंक काफी अच्छा सेट था ये एंड सिटर फॉर एग्जाम राइट समथिंग दैट एटलीस्ट नाउ आई एम एज्यूमिंग यू ऑल वुड बी वेरी कॉन्फिडेंट विद एटलीस्ट क्रिप्टो अरिथमेटिक एंड कैट में या किसी भी एग्जाम में अगर क्रिप्टो अरिथमेटिक का क्वेश्चन दिखता है दैट इज समथिंग दैट यू हैव टू गो एंड टारगेट इन राउंड वन ओके so guys i think with this we will wrap up this if there are any questions pertaining to the booster batch marathon event omet course or the set or with respect to your preparation i'll be here for the next 2 3 minutes you can ask me anything and then we will wrap it off we are starting the marathon events from 15th of september guys i have already started sharing the concept notes aaj humne geometry ka ek concept sikha hai wahan pe do keep on learning these on a regular basis so that you don't delay it from 15th daily 9 pm be very consistent with it trust me if you follow the marathon events and these sets very regularly cat ka revision will become very easy for you and if and if you miss even a single day you will not be able to complete the backlog kyunki events ka frequency will be extremely high now okay great guys i'll be here for next 2 minutes if in case you have anything for me no no questions guys great let's wrap it up i hope you guys enjoyed this session and uh, stay connected and uh, let's crack cat together okay good luck